What's up guys, it's The Honest Outlaw here, and today I figured we'd just do a little quick range video because we're going to be out here shooting this little product anyway. And I figured I'd just do a quick one for you guys and uh, uh, give you an opportunity to see something maybe you haven't seen before. Uh, this is something we've uh, shot just a little bit here, but not too much. Uh, mainly I shot this at my buddy Nick's house. He has one of these and kind of convinced me to get one. So I haven't shot my own, but I have had a lot of experience this little thing. This is the uh, Wit Machine SME, the Sound Mitigating Equipment. And it looks like a big can right there, which is actually not. Uh, you don't need anything for this, no class three, nothing like that. It's not a suppressor of any kind. It's just a barrel shroud, essentially, that goes over this brake. So it allows you if you so choose to run a brake whenever you want and if you want to go to a rifle class something like that you don't want to be kind of obnoxious or if you're shooting indoors or any type of situation where you wouldn't want a lot of blast and or noise or at the very least noise funneled towards the target you could put this thing on there now there's a lot of different ways to do that their land tax got a cage you can put around on the on the dragon uh, uh, vg6 the gamma vg6 has one as well uh, with a little cage but i think this one works the best from what i've seen uh, i've even seen sh people shoot these without ear pro on uh, in certain situations so it'd be really good for a home I wouldn't recommend that by the way but it would be really good for a home defense uh, weapon if you wanted to go out and play around in three gun game and all that or wanted to have a little less recoil for your rifle and then you wanted to go back inside and you didn't want to blow the the windows out of your house in case you ever had to shoot in there uh, you could throw this thing on as well and I thought that was a really unique little tool so we're gonna shoot a little bit today with it on a little bit it off and uh, have the uh, wife who films next to me kind of give you guys an impression of what she thinks with all the blast and the noise uh, because of uh, it's you know bothersome to say the least so I think it's a little cool little product uh, it's a little bit on the pricey side I'll tell you the price after we're done with it partly because I have to look it up because I don't remember I think it's a little over 200 bucks maybe 250 somewhere in there we'll just annotate it right now but uh, that's pretty sweet I'm, I got this running on my uh, BCM 11.5 uh, well, sort of, sort of a B V7's 11.5 at this point because the V7's upper and rail, uh, but it does have a BCM barrel, and uh, I don't remember what bolt carriers run in this. Uh, it's a JP uh, low mass system. So this is my current uh, test pistol, and uh, I will be running this today with a primary arms optic. You'll see a review on here in the future, and then the beloved uh, Surefire X300 Ultra. Uh, you'll be seeing a review on that here in the future as well. Kind of give you a comparison with some of the O lights and the uh, stream lights that I have uh, tested, but I've never actually done a test on the one I run the most, which is the uh, Surefire X300. So yeah, we'll go down and shoot it today and give you a quick impression and let you know how it runs. yards so we're on at 50. Frangible ammo, 
and you can tell a significant decrease with the can off. So when you take the can off the brake, the brake works significantly better. That's what I was kind of curious about. I've never shot it with the can off, and I was like, for being a big three-chamber brake, it sure does you know, recoil a little bit more with the can on. When you take it off, no recoil, but you also get all the blast and all the noise as well, and you can tell, right? Yeah. The second I took it off, boom, now it's like a hand grenade going off all the time, because it's 11 and a half inch barrel. That being said, I mean, it's a lot softer shooting, but it is so loud, you know, people put brakes on 11 and a half, 10 and a half inch barrels and use them for home defense. And first time you pop one of them off inside the house, God forbid you actually have to, you're certainly gonna wake the neighbors. With that can, it's a lot better. In a second, hold on. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot it with it on. Let me know the recoil and pulse, how you feel. Give me like five or six rounds and then uh, we'll take it off and see what you think. take it off yeah what'd you think not bad it's like normal all right you ready all right so now we unloaded cleared it out took it off reloaded it and we'll see how we do now I'm stepping way back brutal the one thing right away I'm noticing is that without it yeah I don't know they shoot out faster is yeah that, they is do that a they real certainly thing? do they eject a little more uh, a little more ferociously <laughs> right and because i'm left-handed it hits me ah i mean i shoot rifles left-handed okay so it like hits me i'll slide over here we'll take a look at that it's also annoying i i don't like being hit with things obviously yeah they just fucking rock out of there we're at here at 50 yards here you are a demon with that little rifle. Look out, anybody breaks in our house. Yeah, you better watch out. You better watch out. Oh, shit. What'd you think? I am not as like, it's it's harder for me to determine like little, little details and difference than you. Like that's not where my strength is. So I didn't really notice a huge difference between the two other than the fact that without the fancy thing, it shot a lot crazier at me. Mm, fair enough. Definitely not eloquent, but. Right, right, I get you. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, I do. I know I, you do. I, get, I can tell you, I do, I do sometimes, let's go with that. I rarely do. But uh, the, the brake for sure has way more blast without the can, that's obvious. That's one of the most blasty brakes I've ever seen. Obviously you can tell that that triple chamber brake there is a, is a big old behemoth and it completely reduces the recoil to almost nothing. It feels like you're shooting a 22. However, the blast is extreme. 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 It feels like artillery in World it's War One. unpleasant. Right. But it's cool though. It's certainly nice to have an opportunity to change it if you so choose without having to wrench it off the gun. Sure. And that's kind of nice. Yeah. appear to have any point of impact shift which is what I was interested in but when I popped that off quick and uh, and reloaded the gun I think rolled back and burnt the crap out of my arm <laughs> I don't know if you got that on film mm -hmm. this thing right here certainly hotter than I expected not quite suppressor hot but hot all right so what do I think of the wit machine uh, brake uh, kind of flash hider combo 
I think it works pretty well. I mean, as far as like, a, I don't know what you call this, like a forcing cone, something like that. So it forces the blast forward. It doesn't eliminate the blast. So if you were inside a building, would it, the blast and noise ricochet off the wall and come back? Yeah, maybe, but it's certainly gonna mitigate it to the shooter, which is what's important, right? If you're, if you're shooting at something, you're probably less concerned about what they're experiencing noise-wise than you, right? So, I mean, that's kind of the whole concept. The brake works extremely well. I would argue a little too well. It works even better than my Lantac. The downside of that is, like I said, it sounds like an artillery shell going off. It is really, really loud in this 11.5. The reason why I put it on the 11.5 is because the shorter you go, the more powder that isn't burnt out out of the barrel, the louder it's gonna be generally. And uh, it's certainly loud in this 11.5 uh, with just the three chamber brake. Uh, even with my ear pro on, I didn't have double ear pro, my ears are ringing. So, Overall, I think the brake works really well. The, the louder the brake is, generally the more effective it is. So if people want the quietest brake, well then just get a flash hider or just get some sort of combination device, uh, maybe a, a Surefire War Comp or something like that. Uh, the brake works extremely well. Yeah, I think it would be a really cool way to have a gamer gun that you also use for home defense. That's kind of the way I looked at it. So you can gamer gun, you can three gun, you can uh, shoot for fun and you can do all that cool fun stuff, especially on something like a 14 and a half. And then when you come home at night, you can pop this guy on there, and in case you didn't get to your ear pro, you know, I recommend that if you use an AR that's not suppressed for indoors, try to probably use some electronic ear pro, or don't, it's up to you, that's what I do. Uh, but if you can't, if you have no time, it would be kind of nice just to be able to grab this and go, and this is significantly better than having that three chamber break on at the very least. Now in my personal opinion, it did raise the recoil a tad bit, because instead of the blast going out this, now you are forcing it forward, and Newton's law, you're forcing more of it towards the rear of your shoulder. However, with a 223, even a, a short barreled rifle or a short barreled pistol or rifle, anything like that with a shorter barrel, uh, you're gonna have very little recoil to begin with, so it's not that big of a deal. But I can definitely see this being a big advantage or something like a 308. You know, uh, I don't know who uses a 308 for home defense, <laughs> but it would work. You just gotta be careful which way you aim. Got stuff on my face? Other side. Which way? This way? Beard. What is it? It's a fuzzy. It's oh. good now. I don't know if it was like part of an Arby sandwich or something. Just a fuzzy. Got, got gun, gun lube or oil or whatever. But yeah, so overall I think it does the exact job it's described. And I, I, I wouldn't argue that it's hearing safe by any means, but it certainly would uh, help out uh, people next to you shooting if you're on a firing line with a training class or if you're shooting indoors. You could pop this on, and if you're not, you can have the regular brake, and you don't have to worry about uh, taking a wrench and putting it in a, in a vise and spinning that uh, muzzle device off, two for one. So overall, I think it's pretty sweet. If you want what this thing does, it is the best at what it does. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help our local homeless shelters, and remember to recycle. Check you later.